This is a project using zauber balls, which I'll have a link down in the description. I use two different zauber balls that are complementary in color, and I use them together. Every other row, I switch balls, and you can see as the colors come out, it's a variegated yarn, and they just automatically change colors and just turns beautiful no matter really what the pattern is but I like this zigzag scarf pattern and I'll put a link to this pattern down below as well so you can choose either ball that you want to start with and you change colors every other row so it's down and back and then I change and pick up the other color you start with casting on 96 stitches and I put a stitch marker between each pattern, um, each time the pattern repeats itself. So with this, there's 12 stitches in the pattern and then I put on a marker and then you repeat the same pattern on the next 12 stitches and the next 12 stitches. So this helps me to stay in uh, count. If I lose count of where I'm at in the pattern, it's easy for me to just count backwards and not have to start over and count every stitch on the needle, if that makes sense. So basically what I do, I'm starting the next color. So I get my yarn situated and the color I just finished is the orange. So that I went down and back and now I'm going to work on the purple. So the orange is on the top. If you notice, it's closest to my needle. It's on top. And then my purple is below that. So I want to do a little twist between the colors so that the colors lock on the edge and don't have a gap. So when I first get started, I use my left hand to hold the color I just finished. And then I start knitting with the next color and the first stitch I don't want to pull super tight I don't want that edge to be tight so I just kind of pull on it just the first two stitches I pull on it a little bit so that that edge does not get too tight and starts to get wonky and then I continue with the pattern which is knit five stitches Sorry, my hands are kind of going off the screen. I knit five stitches, and then the pattern calls for a knit two together. And I find that knitting two together through the back loop, oops, sorry, through the back loop feels better for my hands than trying to knit into the front of those two stitches. Typically, a knit two together is through the front. But for this pattern, I'm knitting through the back loop. And then I knit four stitches to the stitch right before the marker and I will work an increase into that last stitch. So I do a knit into the front and the back of the same stitch into the front. Then I reach around behind, pick up the exact same stitch the other leg and then I knit that stitch. Then I pass the stitch marker and do the same repeat on the next 12 stitches. So it's knit five and then you work a decrease and then you knit four and work an increase so that your stitch count remains the same. So I just worked the decrease. Now I'm going to knit four and get to that last stitch before the marker. And then I'm going to work an increase. So I'm going to knit into the front leg and then reach around behind and pick up the same stitch as back leg and knit that pass over my stitch marker and continue on the next 12. 
So I reached into my stash and pulled out some other scarves, zigzag scarves that I've made with zauber balls. And you can see how the colors mix together. This was kind of a Christmassy one using some red and greens mixed with a ball that was grays, blacks, and whites. It turned out real pretty. And then these are made with a crazy zauber ball, which has even more colors, threads running throughout the ball. So you can see how it changes colors as well and has even more bright colors in between where the, the uh, variegation happens. So it's kind of different in a, in a different way, but turns out great. And then this is a diagonal scarf that I did with two zauber balls just going back and forth, but it's all on a diagonal rather than the zigzag. And the colors just automatically change. And you can see I kind of ran out of one of the colors and improvised <laughs> and made a red corner on this scarf because I ran out. <laughs> but you can get crazy Zauber balls, Zauber ball 100s, and just plain zauber balls so you can kind of experiment. And then I pulled out some other yarn in my stash that would make for a pretty zigzag scarf. This yarn has sparkles in it and it ha you can see how it changes colors throughout. And so having something like this, the pinks, and then go along with the teals and the purples would go pretty together, I think. There's another one, but it doesn't have that same wow. You'd want to have two colors that are complementary to each other rather than super similar to each other. But I really like the sparkle in this yarn. It's pretty. It's fuzzy. And I just don't know what I'm going to make with this just yet. And then this is the, the last of it. I'm just about finished and when I get Close to the end, I will kind of play yarn chicken and hope that I have enough to finish the cast off row. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any comments you have below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.